I recently got my hands on the new foundations from One Size Beauty. So I posted a video where I did a whole try on of me wearing the foundation all throughout the day. It was a very hot day in Alberta and I wore it out on a date night with my husband. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above. It gives you more information on this foundation as well. But this is the Turn Up the Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation by One Size Beauty. I received three shades and in the previous video, I put on Dark Deep 25N, which you guys told me apparently is not my color. The reason why I picked this one is because it's the closest to my daily foundation. This is the House Labs Triclone Foundation in the shade uh, Medium Deep Neutral. I thought that this one would match my skin the best, but I got a few comments saying that I should have tried the darker one. So I'm going to take your recommendation and try the darker shade of foundation. The one that we're going to be trying today is Deepest 15. This is the shade that y'all said would match my skin the best. So let's give it a try. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this channel I post wellness, beauty, and lifestyle related content. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed and without further ado, let's get started. Right off the bat, it looks a little bit too dark for me, personal opinion. Um, but we'll see. I'm using their Secure the Blur Primer just in these specific areas to make my skin look a little bit more blurred. It's the same primer that I used in the try on video, the first impressions video. So we're going to do it again. As someone with deeply melanated skin, we tend to have like a two-tone face. And so for me, I've always matched my foundation to the lighter part of my face versus the darker part of my face. I've never matched the darker portions of my face. And I think that's what you guys were saying would look best on me. I always apply sheer makeup. So I'm going with a pump and immediately, yeah, she looks pretty dark. Oh my God. You guys said that this is the color that matches me. I don't know. It looks really dark to me. Yeah, that looks really dark to me, but okay. I'm trusting the process. I'm going to blend that out with a brush. This is the Mac 170 S brush. No, I feel like it looks a little dark. Oh, that looks a little red to me. I think with a foundation like this, because it's darker than some of those areas, I have to cover up all of the lighter areas of my face. And that's not usually how I wear foundation. I feel like with this, I have to put the foundation everywhere versus just in particular areas. Okay. I think what is nice is that it blends in with my neck better. I'll say that. I'm adding a little bit of concealer. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match um, Radiant Serum Concealer in the shade N8. Putting that here on my face. And I'm taking a sponge to blend that out. That's actually not bad. It is a little darker than what I'm used to, but with the concealer mimicking like the way how the inner portions of my face is a bit lighter, it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks really nice. I'm not even gonna lie. My only thing is I wear a lot of sheer makeup and I feel like with this, I'm wearing a lot more makeup than I normally do. That's my only problem. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. My whole thing was that I'd have to wear more foundation, but technically I'm not wearing any more foundation than I normally do. I still think it looks a little dark. To me, it looks like I have a tan, but with all of the concealer and everything, I have contour blush and everything on. Yeah, it does look a lot better. Okay, I'm biting my tongue. You guys are right. I was wrong. I do like it. This looks fantastic. I have never seen a foundation match me as well as this one does. 
Okay, looks like I need to pick up a new House Labs foundation as well that is a little bit darker. Okay, so what do you guys think of this shade? I think it is the perfect shade for me, to be honest. I really like this foundation in general, and I think that the darker shade definitely matches my skin a little bit better. So thank you so much for that tip. Y'all are real girls. Y'all are real girls. Thank you. If you want to see how it wears throughout the day, definitely watch the previous video. Have you ever experienced foundation blindness? I sure have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving.